Yoga Club. Hello, welcome to Yoga Club. Sometimes our feelings can be up and down, especially about ourselves. Some days we feel like we can do anything. We're like ninja masters. Other days we're just not feeling so on it, which is totally normal and happens to everyone, no matter who you are. The thing that always puts me back on my perch feeling confident is yoga. And it's one of the reasons I like yoga so much. It's such a good tool for helping us come back to our body, our core, our home. Finding your ground and letting your light shine through is what yoga helps us do. So this week's yoga club is all about this. We'll meet first off a rather lovely stick insect who really is wonderful but she's just not believing in herself enough and that's Stella. It'll help all of us notice those feelings and know how to do something to help ourselves when our confidence feels low. But before we do I want to share some of your beautiful messages and catch up on all your brilliant ideas and news. First off, we have Paula, who loves to read, loves all the yoga poses, and clearly loves stories. I have read the bolds, Paula, and I agree, it'd be a super fun story to use for a yoga adventure. Paula asked how I learn my stories, which is a really good question, Paula. I read them a lot, then I break them down into little chunks, really short bits. And then over time, I put the short bits together and they become the whole thing. You just have to join them all up. I hope that answers your question. Thank you for writing in. Big hello and love to Aurora, aged five, Erwin, aged five, and Annika, who is seven. Wonderful to hear you all enjoy Cosmic Kids. I love that you love it. Also, Erwin, I love the sound of your game. Let's go peep. That sounds exciting. And thanks, Annika, for the vote for more Pokemon videos. Aurora and Annika, I so loved your Be the Pond, Be the Pond, Don't Be the Fish. The song on the piano, too. What a great idea to sing it like that. It's amazing. Thank you all for being part of the Cosmic Kids family over the years and I just I just love that you're part of our gang. Hello and thank you to Abdul Rahim who is seven and Hajara who is 11 from India. I'm so glad to hear which adventures you enjoy doing the most and that it's been helping you. I love your ideas for new adventures too. Transformers, rescue bots from Ab and super wings from Abdul and My Little Pony and How to Train Your Dragon from Hajara. Thank you so much, you two, and sending big love to you both. Jack writes in, very simple, very clear message and request. Some more Star Wars yoga, please. I've got that one, Jack, added to the list. Another wonderful soul here in India writes in Dolly, who is seven. Hey, Dolly, glad to hear you. You love yoga club and thank you for the birthday wishes that's very very lovely of you to remember and thanks for another vote for mlp my little pony i'd love to do that and i know so many of you would love it too Hello to Alika, aged six, and Hugo, aged four, almost. They live in delightful Dublin with, uh, in Ireland with their mummy and their papa. I love hearing what poses and videos you enjoy doing the most. Tree pose, cosminoculars, zen dens, Harry Potter. Good idea to do another Harry Potter. I know lots of you are keen for that. As well as some awesome books which would make amazing yoga adventures. The Secret Garden. Yes, and The Lion, The Witch and The Wardrobe, which I just finished reading again. Oh, it's such an amazing story, isn't it? I am keeping everything crossed that I will be able to do a PJ Masks adventure as well. It would be so good. Almost as good as the picture of the two of you wearing your amazing PJ Masks Halloween outfits, rocking the owlet and the gecko looks there. I just have to wait for the PJ Masks people to say I can do it and I'm doing it. I'm glad to hear that mummy gets a chance to do a workout while you both enjoy your yoga and thank you as well for those birthday wishes. I really, really appreciate it. It's, it's just great to hear that Cosmic Kids has been a help over the past year and a bit and I hope you continue to enjoy it and it helps you now as we hopefully start living a bit more normally again. <laughs> 
Big love and hellos to Lily, aged five, and Harvey, aged three, in New Zealand. So good to hear from you and that you're enjoying the yoga. I love that you're doing it. I hope you guys are all doing okay and staying safe and healthy there too. How I'd love to come to New Zealand again one day. I really, really hope that can happen. I absolutely love the place. Finally, a hello and thank you to Tanith, Malachi and Liam from County Derry in Ireland, part of our wonderful family of app subscribers who did Cosmic Kids throughout lockdowns and have done the amazing thing of keeping it going. Now there is a good habit to have come from these challenging times. It's also great to hear you've been exploring all of the wonderful Zen Dens on the app, that they're helping with bedtimes, dealing with bad dreams and nightmares and making the worry box such a good thing to do. I love your ideas for new themes too. Greek gods and myths. Ooh. Big cats, yes, yes to this. So much to bring to life with yoga there. Bearded dragon lizard, oh yes to that. Zoe's Rescue Zoo, I've got to read that. Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, amazing story. Madagascar and lemurs, I'd love to do that. I'd like to move it, move it. I'd like to move it. Digger Excavator, please search for Diggory the Dump Truck on the channel and on the app, you will love that. An Eastern based story about Persia or India, I am really onto that one. And Dennis the Men Menace, Nasher and Nipper, so love hearing you are a Dennis the Menace fans. Now, thanks so much for all those incredibly brilliant titles ideas. And now let's get started with all this love and joy in our hearts and bring it to our yoga. Please keep your messages coming to me at yoga club at cosmickids.com. And don't forget, you too can try the Cosmic Kids app if you haven't already. Check it out on the app store or go to app.cosmickids.com. Okay, now we begin. We rise like the phoenix and we find our inner fire, our power, our confidence. Go get them, tiger. Rawr. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Cosmic Kids. I'm Jamie and this is your place for yoga, stories and fun. It's easy. Just copy the moves I do and enjoy the adventure. Now we always start in the same way by sitting on our bottoms, crossing our legs and bringing our hands together at our hearts and saying our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. There. Now we're ready to begin. So let's have a little look through our cosminoculars, thumbs and fingers together, and see what our adventure is about today. Have a look through. <gasps> wow! Can you see that? That looks amazing! All those colours, those shapes! Cool! Ooh, can you see it? It's getting clearer. Oh! It's a stick! Just a stick. Oh no, hang on. It's a sting insect. It's Stella the stick insect. She's doing yoga. She's doing eagle pose. Wow, this is great. We're off to the park today to go and find Stella the stick insect. Let's begin our story lying in our beds. Lying all the way down. Make your body nice and long and relaxed. And we're going to pretend that it's a Saturday morning. Ah, bliss. We wake up and we stretch our arms and our legs. Oh. We come up to sit, crossing our legs and stretch again. Oh. Then we stand up and we fold all the way forwards, reaching our arms forwards to draw the curtains. Oh, it's a bit rainy today. Let's have a shower in the rain. Standing up, we pitter-patter all over our heads, that rain. All over our bodies and our arms. All over our tummies and our legs. Oh dear, we're getting a bit wet in this rain. So we rub ourselves dry using our hands. That's better. Time to go downstairs and have some breakfast. Down we go, down we go, down we, down we, down we go. We sit down with our legs crossed and we reach up to get the biggest pot. 
bringing it all the way down in front of us. Now we're going to make some porridge. So we take our hand across to our knee and twist around to get our porridge oats. Here they are. Let's shake them in the pot. Shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them, shake them. Take your other hand across to your other knee and twist the other way. This time we need to get some milk. So we get our milk and we pour it in the pot. There we go. Now we need to stir it. So we take our legs out wide and we take hold of our stirring stick and we stir it, stir it stir it. We put that stirring stick down and we take our other stirring stick and we stir the other way. Stir it, stir it, stir it. Oh, it's ready. We cross our legs, we fold forwards keeping our bottoms planted on the floor and then we eat up our porridge. Mmm, 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 mmm. Delicious. We sit up nice and tall and we rub a hand on our tummies and we pat our heads at the same time. Oh, so, so clever. It's time to go. So we come up to two knees, we take our arms out wide and we give everyone at home a great big hug. Bye. Time to open up the door. We take our leg out to the side, our arm up to the sky and we fold down to the side. Opening the door. Then we close it behind us, two knees together, leg out to the other side, arm up to the sky and close the door. Ooh. Time to get on our bicycles. We lie on our backs and we crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lifting up our legs. Then we have to pedal really slowly as we go up the hill. Oh, it's quite hard. Oh, now we're going down the hill. So we go really, really fast. <laughs> we arrive at the park. Let's go on the swings. We stand up and we bend our knees. We reach our arms up high. Ready? One, two, three. Whee! And up. And again. One, two, three. Whee! And up. This is great, but shall we go on the slide? Yeah, come on. Sitting on your bottoms, legs out long. Take your hands behind you, point your fingers in towards your bottom. Ready to go on the slide, ready? That was brilliant fun. Now, we see a little lake. Drawing the soles of your feet together, make a big diamond shape with your legs. On this lake, there is a tiny little boat. Turning yourself around, lift up one foot, lift up two, lift up one hand, lift up no hands, and give me a wave. Hi! We row this little boat across the lake, legs out long, take hold of your oar and row. Let's sing our row, row, row your boat song, ready? Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. That's the phone. Shall we, shall we answer it? Hello? Oh, there's going to be a bug ball tonight. Ooh, we're invited. Mm, yes, we'd love to come. OK, yeah, see you in a minute. Bye. We put the phone down and we row with the other oar. Picking it up, here we go. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Merrily, 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 life is but a dream. Ring, 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 ring. What's the phone again? Can we answer this one? Hello? It's Stella the stick insect. Hi, Stella. Oh, you're in a bit of a pickle. Oh, all right then. Yeah, we'll be there in a minute. Yeah, we'll help. Righto. OK, bye. We put the phone down. Poor Stella, she's in a bit of a pickle. When we get to the banks of the lake, we take big squadgy mud walks. Standing up, coming to the side, ready for a big squadgy walk. Squadge! And back. And again. Squadge! We come to a clearing. This must be where the ball's happening. We find all of the bees tuning up. Crossing your legs, take your fingers and see if you can close your ears and go... Mm. 
like a bee tuning up to play its musical instrument tonight. All around, we can see beautiful butterflies. They're going to be doing the decorations for tonight. Drawing the soles of your feet together, hold onto your toes and flutter your butterfly wings. There are also lots of rather wonderful caterpillars wiggling around. Coming onto your bellies, everybody. Hands underneath your shoulders, point your toes back. Oh, yes. I'm just trying out all of the leaves to check that they're going to be tasty for tonight. Mmm, these are really good. Mmm. Oh, it's good we've got the caterpillars doing the catering. Next, we see the grasshoppers in the hopper hair salon having their wings trimmed and highlighted. Laying all the way down on your belly, take your arms out wide, bend up one foot and press it to the sky. Then see if you can use your other foot to hoist it up. Yeah, Sharon, I was just saying, that Stella the stick insect, she's in a bit of a flap at the moment. <gasps> we hear this and we wonder where Stella is. Swapping your legs all the way over now, lift up your other foot, press it to the sky and hoist it up. Oh yeah, Stella, she's over on that broken branch. Go see her. <gasps> we put our foot down and we roll over onto our backs. We take our arms out wide and we lift up our legs. Then we take our legs over to one side and our head over to the other, making a broken branch. We look all over this broken branch trying to find where Stella is. Where is she? See if you can take your legs up and over to the other side now and take your head round to the other side. All of a sudden, we hear a... <laughs> we sit up and we look really carefully and sure enough, we can see her. But it's very hard to see Stella when she's sitting on a branch because she looks a bit like a branch. But now she's crying, we can hear her. There she is, poor Stella. Coming up onto two knees. Take your leg out to the side and take your arm down to the side beside you. Reach up with your top arm, up and over your ear, coming into your stick insect pose. Oh, it's awful. There's no point in me going to the ball because nobody can see me. I'm always camouflaged by everything. Coming to your knees. Oh, Stella. When you go to a party, you should wear really nice, bright party clothes. Then everyone will see you. <gasps> Stella thinks this is a great idea, but we need to do a bit of a wash. So we cross our legs and we bring our hands back behind our heads and we wash Stella's best party clothes. Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, washa, woo! Wisha, washa, wisha, washa, wisha, wisha, woo! Then we dry them in our special tumble dryer, bringing your fingers in front of your mouth and blow. <gasps> now Stella pops them on and shows them off. Coming up to two knees, arms out wide, drop down onto the other side, take your leg out to the side and stretch your top arm up and over your ear. Oh, I feel all right now. Shall we go? Yes, and there is only one way to arrive at the bug ball and that is in style, in a lady bug limo. Coming to your knees, fold all the way forwards. Now, Crisscross your fingers and rest them on the base of your back. Now lift and lower your elbows like a little ladybird. We arrive at the party. Sitting up, it's in full swing. Everybody's dancing. Stella stands and stiffens up. Um, the problem is I'm really good at copying everybody else because I'm a stick insect. But I'm not very good at dancing, just being myself, being natural. Oh, Stella, you'll be fine. Go on, go and have fun. You'll find your groove. But sure enough, Stella's not very good at just dancing as herself. She just copies everyone else. First, she copies the termites doing the twist. Jump your feet wide and twist. Then she copies the caterpillars doing the caterpillar dance. Coming down onto hands and knees. Press up into your dog pose. Come down to your knees. Drop
drop down to your belly, roll your shoulders up like a caterpillar. Try it again, come back to your knees, tuck your toes, up to your dog, back to your knees, down to your belly and up like a caterpillar. Then she copies the beetles. They're on their backs doing some beatbox dancing. Coming up onto your bottoms, lying down on your back. Now, reach up and see if you can grab your feet. The beetles are having a great time wiggling around, doing their beatbox. <laughs> Stella is very good at copying them all. Yes, she would be so good if she could just dance naturally, be herself, find her own way of tuning into the music. We decide to have a little rest and have a drink. We have some firefly fizz. Now we make a straw with our tongues curling up the sides like this. And we take a big suck in. Mmm, delicious. Now, if you can't do that curling up with the sides thing, do this instead. Mmm, <sighs> so refreshing and cool in our mouths. <gasps> All of a sudden, landing in front of us is a fairy god praying mantis. Coming up into a squat position, everyone. Sitting right the way back on your heels, taking your elbows inside your legs, joining your hands together like a fairy god praying mantis. Dearest Stella, wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others, let your light shine through. And with that, the fairy god praying mantis launches itself into the night. Ready for a jump? One, two, three, Whee! Oh my goodness me, that was awesome. And it seems to have really spoken to Stella. She feels ready to show what she can do. She comes to the dance floor, takes her position, takes her leg out to the side and her stick insect arm to the ground. Then she waves her antennae around and around and she puts her leg forward and bows to the ground. She comes on up to the other side, arms up wide down to the ground and leg up and long. She waves it around and around and around before she puts her leg front and to the ground. Stella is amazing when she dances and she's herself. She's captivating. Her confidence radiates. It's wonderful to see. Here comes Steve the spider, standing up, legs a little bit wider, bend your knees and make your fingers like spiders. Then bring them inside your feet, take them around the back and round the side and sit down. Um, I wanted um, Stella, <clears throat> he's a bit shy. Um, could I, uh, could I ask, can I dance with you, Stella? Stella comes to her knees. She opens her arms wide and she beams Steve her biggest stick insect smile, giving him a great big hug. Oh, yes, Steve, let's dance the night away. We'd better leave these two love bugs alone. So we sit back and we blow them a kiss. We hop on the back of the ladybug limo, folding all the way down, crisscrossing our fingers at the base of our spine and lifting and lowering our elbows like ladybug winds. Then we find our bicycles back at the park, lying on our backs. We crisscross our fingers behind our heads, lift our legs to the sky and we pedal slowly first up the hill. Ooh, it's quite hard and then oh, really fast as we go down the hill. Wow, look everyone, it's really dark. So we stand up and we tiptoe, 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 tiptoe inside, back into our bedrooms where we lie down. Ah, oh, blissfully in our beds. Oh, that feels nice. All snuggled up and comfy and cosy, lying in our beds. 
As we lie down, we remember the words of the fairy god praying mantis. Wherever you go, whatever you do, never be afraid to be completely you. Trust in yourself, believe and let go. Forget all the others, let your light shine through. As we remember these words, these wise words, we think about the light inside of us. What colour is your light? Maybe you can close your eyes and see it now. As we feel that light inside of us, we know that when we are just being ourselves, that light shines brightly. It fills us with warmth. And wherever we go, we need never be afraid of what people think because we are just being completely ourselves. Feeling that light inside you now, let's bring ourselves back, breathing into it. Wiggling our fingers and our toes. We give our knees a hug and we roll onto our sides, slowly coming up to sit with our legs crossed and our hands together at our hearts. And we finish just the way we started with our secret yoga code word, which is Namaste. Ready? After three. One, two, three. Namaste. Well done, everyone. Thanks for coming to see Stella the Stick Insect with me and for coming to the Bug Ball. That was great fun. I hope to see you again soon for another Cosmic Kids adventure. Bye-bye. Today we're going to train like Jedis, so we can be strong like Jedi warriors and focused using the Force. We begin in hero pose. Coming down onto your knees, kneel yourself back, then crisscross your fingers and turn your hands inside out. Reach your arms up above your head and if your shoulders have come up into your ears, drop them down a little bit. Yes, now we're in hero pose. Now Jedis use something called the Force, an energy inside them, and we're going to tune into that energy right now. Come to stand in mountain pose, all the way up, feet hip distance apart. Bring one hand on your tummy and one hand on your chest. Close your eyes. Use the Force and listen. Notice the sounds in the room around you now. Now tune in to the room just outside the room you're in, maybe a corridor or hallway. And now see if you can notice the sounds outside of the building you are in. Opening your eyes, lowering your hands. Well done, everyone. We're now tuned into the force and we're going to bring that into our Jedi warrior poses. Start by reaching your arms up to the sun and draw power from the sun. We turn to the side and then bend our knees as we slowly draw our arms all the way down to bring power from the earth. Then we walk our hands forwards a little bit and our feet back and we come into our little droid pose. R2-D2, who's a bit like a little dog. We lift one leg all the way up behind us and we step it just behind our wrist, turning our back heel in a little bit. Then getting our feet super duper strong, we see if we can come up to stand, holding our balance. 
We turn to the side and reach our arms up to the sky, coming into our Jedi warrior one pose. Breathe into your warrior pose. Then turn your toes to the side. Open your arms wide and bend your front knee even more, coming into your Jedi Warrior Two pose. Looking over your front hand into the distance like a super strong Jedi. Then we take our arm up in front, our back hand down to our long leg, and we point our lightsaber to the sky going, Choo! We straighten our front leg, bring our arms up together as the force awakens. And then we turn to the other side, bending our front knee, reaching our arms all the way up, coming into our Jedi warrior one pose on the other side. Yes, breathe into your warrior. Turn your back toe to face the front and open your arms wide, bending your front knee even more, feeling strong in your legs. Now look over your front hand into the distance where you are going, feeling strong. Slowly take your back hand down to your long leg and reach your top arm up like you're pointing your lightsaber to the sky. Straightening your front leg, turn your toes to the centre and jump them together. Back in our mountain pose, feeling strong. This time bring your hands to your heart. Feel clear in your mind, feel strong in your body, focused and strong. Have a wonderful rest of your day. The Cosmic Kids Yoga Pose Universe. Star Pose. Taking our feet nice and wide and our arms wide, we sparkle brightly like a big beautiful star, twinkling our fingers a little bit too to give us some extra sparkles. Now Star Pose is a brilliant pose to do because it makes you feel big and it's a big stretch for your whole back and body. It's wonderful. Now when we're in Star Pose, we feel extra sparkly positive vibes. So it's really good to think about someone else when you're in this pose. Let's do it now and send our positive sparkly vibes to them. Closing your eyes, think about someone who needs your sparkles. May you be happy, may you be well. Opening our eyes, that's real star power. Star Pose. Peace out. Balloon. Hello, Jamie here. Welcome to Peace Out. Time to get comfy. Find a space and either lie down on your back, side or tummy, or sit cross-legged or on a chair. Take a moment now to decide which works best for you. Now you've found your spot, have a wriggle and a fidget so your body feels happy. And when you're done, Say goodbye to those fidgets and hello to that lovely, warm, calm feeling you get when you're relaxed and your body comes to stillness. Rest and breathe gently. You can keep your eyes open for now if you like. See if you can feel your breathing. You might need to slow it down a little so you can feel what it's doing to your tummy, making it lift as you breathe in and lower as you breathe out. Next time as you breathe out, let your eyes softly close. 
well done. Now you can enjoy the adventure. With your eyes closed, your mind can make the pictures for you. You are outside, in a garden. And up in the sky, you spot a red balloon floating. You can see it has a little string dangling down. It's floating down towards you. You wonder where this balloon has come from. And why is it here for you? Now it is right in front of you. Like it's waiting for you to take it. You reach your hand forward and take hold of the string. Now you feel the balloon start to rise again up into the sky. You don't let go and you feel it pulling you up too. It lifts you right up onto your tiptoes and then your feet leave the ground and you are floating too, just like the balloon. Where are we going, you wonder? You relax and let yourself be carried, enjoying the cool air on your skin. You see green fields down below and the trees. You are above the treetops, looking down on them. Look, just up ahead. You see your favourite place in the whole world. You decide what this place is. See if you can imagine it now. What does it look like? The balloon takes you right to it and you are lowered gently so you and the balloon are there now. Look around at this place. What can you see? Can you hear any sounds? Are there any people here? Or animals? Or is this a place you enjoy all by yourself? Does it have a particular smell? Or taste, maybe? As you stand here with your red balloon, you soak up the goodness and joy from being here in your favourite place. How much you love it. Breathe into it. As you do, you feel completely happy. And with that happiness, you are ready to return with your balloon. It's time to come back. See if you can notice any sounds around you now. Notice your body, where it touches the ground or the chair beneath you. Enjoy a big stretch and breathe in and out. Gently open your eyes and take a second to just notice how you feel after that. Different, maybe, to how you felt before you had your peace out. It's been a real treat feeling all that happiness from visiting your favourite place. I hope you enjoyed it. This is Jamie, saying peace out. <laughs>